Hi everyone, this is Dr. Binning. I'm going to go over how to make a stool sample collection for in case you have a test kit from Diagnostic Solutions. This is what their box looks like. Um, the most so whenever you're starting to make a uh, sam uh, any type of lab collection, what you want to do is familiar yourself with what's inside the box. So when you open this box, what you'll find is this paper tray, um, a bag that has a yellow vial in it with red solution in it. There's two rubber gloves and, a, and an ab absorbent pad. And then you have um, some shipping information. With this test kit, the shipping is prepaid. And you have more FedEx shipping. Um, and you have two very important pieces of paper. One is your lab requisition form right here. And then you have actual instructions which is right here. So when the f most important thing you should do when you get your test kit is make sure all these components are in the bag or in the box. And then when you, as you get ready to collect your sample, where I would start is first and foremost, take out the yellow cap vial. And on the side here, there's some lines where you should write your name and date of birth. Um, if you forget to do this and this gets sent to the lab, it just gets tossed away because no one knows who it belongs to. Um, so very, very important. Step number one, write your name and date of birth on the side of the vial and you can put that aside. The second thing is to fill out the lab requisition form. Now by the time you get it, the ordering clinician information will be filled out. All you need to do is put in your patient information and the payment method. <clears throat> And once that's done, you can go ahead and put this back into the box. So when you're, the day you're collecting the stool, when you actually go to do this, what you'll do is try to void all your urine before you, you make the sample collection and use this tray to collect your stool. And inside this yellow vial, when you open it up and I'll show you, there is a spoon attached to the lid. Here you go. And what you'll want to do is once the stool is on this tray, you'll take this spoon and from two or three different places, collect stool and put it into this vial. And you only want this red solution to fill up to this red line here. If you put too much, um, it changes the lab results and they can't use this as a sample and you'll have to redo the whole process. This isn't the most enjoyable test to do, so you wanna limit those type of errors. So only fill the red solution up to the red line. Um, then what you do is once you have your sample in the vial use this to stir it and get it into a liquid consistency and once you do that you tighten the lid back up as tight as it gets and you'll shake it for 30 seconds once you shake it for 30 seconds you can take the so you obviously would do this with your gloves on but the only thing that needs to be in this bag is the vial and this absorbent pad and you place it into the absorbent in, into this plastic bag, seal it, and what you'll do is then put it into the box. However, if you're not shipping it that day, what you, you should be doing is then placing it into the box and refrigerating it overnight until you, when you are going to send the sample in. The last step, because you filled out the requisition form already first, is just to set up the shipping. Now with this lab, the shipping's prepaid. So all you do is send, fill out your sender information here. And on the commercial invoice, there's three pages. Again, it's just your personal name um, and address and things like that. And it's pretty simple. Then what you should do is call, either you can call FedEx to schedule a pickup, which their number is actually on the instructions. So if you go to the last page of the instructions, you'll find there number right here or what I like to do is to take it to a FedEx shipping depot myself and ship it from there and and I do this because they're quite helpful sometimes the shipping instructions are confusing but once that's done all you need to do is take it to FedEx and send it off I hope this video helps um, clarify some of the shipping uh, collection process for this lab um, if there's any questions you can let me know thanks